Now we'll talk about MNCs with respect to international business. This video is more of a refresher of what we have already covered earlier, where we talked about stages of internationalization, and that is where we first introduced the concept of multinational companies. So I hope you remember. Let's refresh it a little bit. The first step is a domestic business, where a company, for example, a company which is operating in India, manufacturing its products in India, keeping in mind the Indian consumers, the Indian needs, and is supplying those products in India. So that's a domestic company which is operating within the boundaries of the Indian national border. Now, once this company sees a lot of relevance of its products, sees success, wants to expand its market presence, its market potential, and finds that maybe there are some neighboring countries which might have similar product needs, which might have similar consumer needs, and thinks about going international through the route of exports, uh, indirect or indirect export. So that is when that the company becomes international, where they are still uh, located and operational only in one country, but they just choose to use the mode of exports to sell their products in some other countries. Now, when that happens, after some time, the the company further gains knowledge in those export markets where they are operating. They finally understand the finer nuances of what that consumer needs. They want to be more responsive. They want to be more closer to the cons consumer in terms of their establishment, in, in terms of their presence. That is when they start thinking about becoming a multinational company, which is the topic of our discussion today. Then that is where they start setting up production facilities and in their target markets or they start setting up offices sales offices or marketing presence in those target markets or they start sourcing uh, from locations which are closer to their target markets so that they can be more responsive so they get into establishing their various parts of the supply chain across the globe where it makes more sense for them and this is where they start operating with very specific focus on the needs of that particular country, the international country that they are operating in. So if, if uh, for example, the, that Indian company starts operating in five different countries, then their products and their uh, strategies in each of those five countries will be specific to that respective five, five countries. It will not be a generic strategy, which we see in a global company where globally there is one strategy. So those are some of the aspects. And lastly, we talked about transnational company where each company is uh, operating that entire value chain in multiple countries in the world. But we wanted to introduce and refresh the concept of multinational company again. Thanks for watching.